Hi, I'm Jeff King. I want to talk a little bit about capacity planning um, as well as just how you should be thinking about uh, using servers to the maximum benefit. Um, so now that we've moved into the cloud, um, what we find is that people are really easily able um, to create new servers um, and being that it's so easy, I find that uh, we're, we're still in a place where we typically are over-provisioning everything. Um, so if you look at uh, server workload, uh, when you're standing up a VM, um, you get the choice, right, of how much um, CPU and memory this server has. So that gives you the, the vertical scale. Um, so vertical scale is um, the resources that this computer has um, and so you can choose the vertical scale of that server. Uh, secondly, uh, in a cloud or a virtualized world you can choose how many servers you want and so this gives you quite a bit of flexibility in terms of how much performance uh, you can have available to you. So my first role when I was working with Microsoft uh, really was an eye-opener. We had uh, a, a group within the company that was actually handling our infrastructure. And so the interesting thing, some of the interesting things to me was that if you hit um, our secret number was 85% um, on really any of the benchmarks in our server, we would actually consider this to be an outage. Um, so at that point, um, the server is not able to fulfill the requests um, to the users in an appropriate amount of time, or it might be lossy and that it will lose the actual requests, right? So this was like our hard line number for us, um, was to, if it went over 85%, we'd get in basically big trouble, right? So that left a little bit of headroom, always in all of our servers, um, to ensure that we could, you know, meet the demands of our users. Um, but, adversely, on the other side, is you don't want to over-provision to the sense that you're only using like 10% of your servers. Um, and I'm kind of using that as like a maximum of any one of those points. Um, what you really want to do is have it just below uh, that maximum threshold that you decide. So, a typical server um, should be running at probably the 60 to 80 percent used. Um, otherwise, you're just having a huge amount of uh, overcapacity that you, that you don't need. Now, you have to kind of figure out the balance here, um, and also in terms of, you know, maybe when you start scaling, when you hit 80 percent, it's not soon enough to bring another machine into the fold before you go above that 85. So this is something that you have to figure out for your own class of applications. But I would just use that as kind of a rule of thumb that um, at least one or more of these metrics should be sitting in that 60 to 80 percent mark. Um, if it's not, theoretically you should be able to scale either down from the vertical, so use less memory and less CPU, um, or else potentially use just less machines, right? So less horizontal scale. Um, you have to play with that and figure out what the right mixture is for your application. Um, but it's something really to think about when you're actually doing capacity planning. Thank you very much. Leave comments below.